Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I would like to talk about one of the What's New features in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2018, using multiple dynamic baselines in a corridor. There are a couple different ways that we could actually grade this parking area off of our main baseline here for our road. In the past, I would probably go in and I would create feature lines maybe to control this parking area. I'd like to talk to you about a different way to design this and it's going to be by using multiple corridor baselines and they're all dynamic. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a corridor from that baseline. So I'm just going to call this Road B Corridor. All right, and we're going to actually grab our Road B alignment and use our finish grade for our center line of our baseline. We will use our main lanes demo assembly. Today we won't have a target surface for this demonstration. I'll go ahead and hit OK and it generates my corridor. Now notice that it only generates it to this specific area right here, the edge of pavement. All right, we're going to add to this. Now I am going to go in and change a couple things just so I can see my frequencies a little bit better. So I'm going to edit my frequencies in the whole region. Uh, we'll go ahead and tell it that I want to sample every five feet and I'll sample every five feet on my curves. So it just gives me some more sampling along the edge. So now I want to create a region real quick. So I'm going to split this corridor, this region, and I'm going to start here. All right, and that's just the edge of the pavement here at the gutter. And I'll split it again up here at the same spot. Hit enter, and now I've got three regions. All right. So the reason I did that is because I want to be able to pull a feature line from the edge of this corridor, and I only want it to be affected from here to here, okay? And that's because that's the part that I'm going to build out with the multiple corridor baselines. And the baselines I'm going to use are going to be the feature lines that I extract from this particular corridor. So I'm going to extract the corridor feature line from this particular region here that I just built. All right, so I'm going to select my corridor, Select feature lines from corridor. Now I want to do it by a region. So I'm going to hit R for region. It says select the corridor region. So I'm going to select that region and hit enter. And I just want my edge of travel way. So I'm going to take all the check marks out of everything that I could pull in feature line wise. And be sure that I'm selecting my edge of travel way for the right side. And hit extract. Now I should have just a feature line from in that particular area that I'm wanting to work with. So now what I can do, I've got several assemblies in here. I want a lane that will actually attach to this feature line. So I'm going to add that to my corridor. So if I go into my corridor properties, I can actually add a baseline. What I'll do here is I will just select that feature line that I just built. So I'll pick that feature line, all right, and I'll hit OK. Now, I need to add a region for that, so I'm going to add a region and tell it what assembly I want to push down that. So this is going to be my parking assembly. All right, you can see that it's added it. All right, I can hit apply and it adds that parking line on. Or actually, not parking line, but it adds the parking stalls. Now I've got a sidewalk also that I've got shown here, so I'm going to extract another dynamic feature line. So I'm going to select my corridor and I'm going to select feature lines from corridor and I'm just going to pick an edge of travel way right there and I'll make sure that it's uh, selecting the edge of travel way on the right side it should only be picking the right side because that's it's pulling that from just this piece of the corridor since it's a separate baseline I hit extract and now I have a feature line that's right here for my sidewalk so I can go ahead and add that. If I go back into my corridor properties, I can add that as a baseline. All right, we're going to pick our feature line again. So I'm going to select the feature line for my drawing. So I'll select that feature line and select OK. Now again, we need to build a region. All right, so we're going to add a region and we're going to select that this is going to use our sidewalk assembly. Hit OK. Notice it does, it does build it. And we'll go ahead and select apply and it adds our sidewalk on. Now why is this much better than what it what we were used to in the past? 
Well, in the past, we would have to build maybe a couple different assemblies to accommodate this. But being able to create multiple corridor baselines is, is much better, especially if we have to adjust this parking. So maybe we have to cut three spaces off this parking. I can just simply grab my corridor now and I can adjust I can adjust them up according to each piece of the corridor meaning each individual baseline that I just created so I can move this up to here and if that par those two parking stalls are gone now then all I've done is just adjusted this piece of my corridor the rest of my main road is still typical before what you would have had to done is actually go in and adjust regions, maybe added a different assembly. Uh, it, it's just a much easier process now. And it gives you a lot more flexibility, which basically increases the speed of you being able to edit this particular corridor in this scenario. So I hope you can see the benefit of using multiple corridor baselines that are dynamic inside of your corridor. I hope that the information in this video has helped you to understand one of the new features inside of Civil 3D 2018. I want to thank you for watching and have a great day.